Welcome to SRAM Technical Communication. This video will show you how to properly bleed your SRAM road hydraulic disc brakes. You will need the following tools and supplies. Safety glasses, nitrile gloves, Avid Bleed Kit or Avid Professional Bleed Kit, Bleed Block, T10 Torx Wrench, 2.5 millimeter hex wrench, Torque Wrench, 2.5 millimeter hex bit socket, T10 Torx bit socket, clean, lint-free rags, isopropyl alcohol. Fill a syringe one half full of Avid High Performance Dot Fluid and the other syringe one quarter full. Tap the side of the syringe to bring any air bubbles to the top. Place a towel around the tip and slowly push the air bubbles out of the syringe. Close the hose clamp and pull on the plunger. Bubbles will appear to form and enlarge. Continue to pull on the plunger and tap the syringe to release the bubbles from the sides and the bottom. Release the plunger, open the clamp, and carefully push the air out. Repeat this process two to three times for each syringe. Remove the wheel from the bike. Remove the brake pads from the caliper and insert the appropriate bleed block. This will help prevent system overfill and keep dot fluid from contaminating your brake pads. Remove the caliper bleed port screw from the banjo bolt. Thread the half full syringe into the caliper bleed port. Pull the lever hood back to expose the bleed port. Remove the lever bleed port screw. Thread the other syringe into the lever bleed port. Wipe off any brake fluid that may drip from the bleed port. Push on the caliper syringe plunger to move fluid into the lever syringe until it is half full. You should also see air bubbles fill the lever syringe. Close the clamp on the lever syringe. If the fluid in the lever syringe is severely discolored, Replace the fluid in the lever syringe before continuing. Pull the brake lever to the handlebar and fasten it with a toe strap or rubber bands. Pull out on the caliper syringe plunger, then gently push in on the plunger to pressurize the system. Repeat this procedure several times until large bubbles stop coming out of the caliper. Be careful not to pull too hard on the plunger or you will pull air past the plunger seal. Remove the toe strap or rubber bands from the brake lever, but keep the lever pulled in with your hand. Apply pressure to the caliper syringe plunger and slowly let the brake lever extend. Close the clamp on the caliper syringe, then remove the syringe from the caliper and reinstall the bleed port screw. Wipe off any brake fluid from the caliper. Open the clamp on the lever syringe Pull out on the lever syringe plunger, then gently push in on the plunger to pressurize the system. Use gentle pressure. Applying too much pressure to the plunger can damage the system. Squeeze and release the brake lever 10 times, allowing the lever to snap back to its starting position. Repeat this procedure several times until large bubbles stop coming out of the lever. Apply a small amount of pressure to the syringe plunger. Failure to pressurize the system at this step will allow air to enter the system. Remove the syringe. Reinstall the bleed screw into the pool of fluid in the bleed port. Use isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag to remove any brake fluid from the lever and caliper. Make sure to clean around the lever bleed port screw. Remove the bleed block from the caliper and reinstall the brake pads. Reinstall the wheel. Pull on the lever very firmly several times. Inspect the lever and caliper for any leaks. Dispose of dot fluid in accordance to local and federal regulations. This concludes the bleed procedure for the SRAM Road Hydraulic Disc Brakes. Thanks for watching.